का एलसीसी सी जादव आई एम स्टूडेंट एट आई खरगपुर इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एंड वी हैव डिराइव्ड एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑन द फार्मूला फॉर द ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू ए पॉइंट मास सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल सो आई हैव टू के सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम कांसेप्ट्स ऑफ फिजिक्स वॉल्यूम 1 बाय एच सी वर्मा सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू a uniform ring at a point on its axis so the problem statement is potential due to a uniform ring at a point on its axis okay here is the ring that i have drawn okay so this is the ring i have drawn let mass of this ring be m capital m let mass of the ring be m and its radius be a okay let the mass of this ring be capital m and its radius be a okay small a where a is a point and its axis and which is a resistance of r from the center of the ring o okay now in the last video we derived a formula for the potential gravitational potential due to a point mass right so the formula was v is equals to minus g capital m by r where v is the potential g is the gravitational constant r is the distance from the point mass and m is a point mass so what i am trying to say is this formula is only valid for point mass okay this formula is only valid for point mass so this is valid only for point mass in our case we have a ring so this is not a point mass right this is not a point mass so we cannot directly apply this formula to get potential at point a due to this whole ring right what i am trying to say is i cannot write potential of the ring is equals to minus g m is the mass of the ring by r r is the distance between center of the ring and a so i cannot write like this this is wrong okay this is absolutely wrong because this formula is only valid for the point mass this is not we have a ring this is not a point mass so how can we apply that formula to get the potential so this is wrong right then how can you find potential due to this whole ring that is simple we can take a small element on this ring such that this formula is valid for it okay this ring is very 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 thin okay this is a thin ring so any small a very very small element a very very small section on this ring can be considered as a point mass okay so i am taking a small element at this point Okay, a very small element at this point. So now that is a point mass. Okay, we have more than we have lot many point masses on this thing. Okay, so this is a point mass that I have considered to find gravitational potential at point A. Okay, now I am writing. let the mass of the small section okay let the mass of this small section a small element that we taken is m let the mass of the mass of the small element be pm okay now put 
potential due to this dm potential due to this dm at point a is potential dv due to this point uh, point mass due to this small element is minus g and distance between this small element and this a is z okay let the distance between this small element point mass and point a is z so then g z sorry g small element mass mass of the small element by distance between this point mass and this a is z okay this is potential due to this small element now how can we find potential due to this whole ring this is only for this point mass okay now how can we find potential due to this whole ring that is simple okay we have to integrate over this small element to get the potential due to this whole ring right what i am trying to say is when we integrate this small element that means we are adding potential due to all small elements on this ring to get potential okay what i am saying is we are adding we are adding potential due to all the small points small point masses on this ring to get the total potential due to this ring at point a so i am integrating this db okay i am integrating this db i get the total potential due to this ring okay v due to ring is equals to integrating minus g dm by z okay and then g is a constant z is a constant okay g is not a function of m d, m and z is also not a function of m z is a distance from this small element to this point a so i can take out the both of both g and z then this is integration of dm so what is integration of dm that is total mass of this thing right i am integrating dm part that means i am adding all the small elements on this thing that means i will get the mass of the whole ring so this is equals to this is equals to sorry and there is this part so v is now equals to minus g into integral of dm is capital m that is mass of the ring by z from the geometry from the geometry this is a right angle triangle so using hypot pythagoras theorem i get z equals to root over a square plus r square right then this b is equals to minus g into capital m by root over a square plus r square so this is this is potential due to a uniform thin ring at a point a on its axis okay this is the potential due to this uniform thin ring at a point which is at a distance of at a point on its axis which is at a distance of r and thanks all hey guys if you like my video like just hit the like button share it and subscribe